Savannah and welcome back to my channel. I'm currently still in my pajamas and I kind of feel like a preschool classroom art project. Every kid has to draw a different square, you know, and then they just pasted it all on a shirt. But I kind of like it. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make my favorite Taiwanese street snack. They're called danbing and so dropping. Danbing actually translates to egg pancake. It's more of a breakfast item, so it's served in the morning and stops at noon. Whereas so dropping, which translates to hand grab pancakes, and they're served from morning all the way to the wee hours of the night. Both of these are kind of similar to its more famous cousin, the scallion pancakes. And you can also put anything you want into it. So popular combinations include corn and cheese, and my personal favorite is Thai basil and egg. And today we're going to be comparing those two things side by side. Without further ado, let's get started. The ingredients that we will be needing today are just flour, some two potato starch, some water, some eggs, and some scallions. In your bowl, add one fourth cup of flour. You can just use your fingers to level it off. Add it in. And one tablespoon of the sweet potato starch. You can also sub in for cornstarch or tapioca starch and this gives it a chewier texture. Half a cup of water. Now you just gotta mix it all together and set it aside for about 10 minutes. And I'm gonna take you guys to go cut up some scallions. Hello. So the tip to growing scallions is when you're harvesting them, do not cut them at the base. So that way they have more room to grow. Our scallions, time to go back inside. Give these a little rinse. This is kind of a lot of scallions, so I am going to use about half and thinly slice. Now, all we gotta do is heat up our pan to medium heat, pour in a little oil. That's kind of a lot. Rotate your pan to distribute the oil evenly. And now we can add our batter into the pan. To add in your scallions. And while that's heating up, I'm gonna be drinking from my favorite Taiwan mug. And let me just take you guys along and teach you guys some Taiwanese food terminology. These are all really popular street foods. And for example, right here is oyster pancakes. Chinese, I believe it's called wajin. We have candied fruits like candied strawberries, candied cherries. Right here we have basically a hot dog equivalent, but a thousand times better. Da tang, bao sha tang, I think. That translates to big sausage wrapped in little sausage. And instead of bread, we have sticky rice. The famous pineapple cakes, feng li soup. My favorite fruits of all time that is sadly not very accessible here. I believe this is like a soursop. In Chinese, it's called si jia. And then over here, there is a fried chicken steak. The seasonings, mwah, amazing. Zhou zao fan which is braised pork over rice. And we have the famous bubble tea, which originated in Taiwan. Mango Chua Bing, which is mango shaved ice, and it's mm, mm. We have turnip cakes, niu rou mian, which is beef noodles, soup dumplings, xiaolong bao. And this is like my favorite mug, and I like to drink out of it when I miss Taiwan. Now you can peel down the sides, making sure that it's ready to fold. I'm going to attempt this. Ooh! Oh! Full hot! Oh no! Okay, we're good here. And while the other side is cooking, we are now going to crack our eggs. That's so satisfying. Add a little salt. And now we whisk. And now you can flatten it out a bit using your spatula. Here goes attempt number two. Hey! Nice. It smells so good. I like waiting for mine to be nice and golden on both sides before adding the egg. This way there's a nice crisp and a crunch when you bite into it. This looks good to me. So now we're gonna be adding the egg. And then just putting it back down. And then flip it back around and start rolling. Just brown it a little bit more before serving. Voila! This is usually served by cutting into bite sized pieces, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. 
just cut these up and now I'm gonna saucify it. And in Taiwan, there's a couple of sauces you can choose from. There's like a soy paste, a sweet chili sauce. I am gonna be using two sauces. One of them is good old sriracha. And I'm also gonna be adding some hoisin sauce. Another option that you can use is oyster sauce. Good old oyster sauce. And let's get to drizzling. And just like that, the Dan Bing is done. And now for number two, the Sotra Bing. I was originally gonna be making it from scratch, but I do have one last frozen one that I love using and I really wanted to share with you guys. In this video, I'll be making it that way. However, I will be linking a recipe below if you guys wanna experiment and make it yourself. So this is the brand I really like using. It has this guy in the front. His name is Jay Chu, Jay Chow, Zhou Jie Lun. He's a really famous Taiwanese singer. And in this household, we've tried many different brands, but this one is one of my favorites, as well as this one right here. And without further ado, let's get started. On a medium heat, add some oil. Remove the plastic and now add it to your pan. When you don't see any more white spots, you can give it a flip. Sticks to the rescue. And when it's cooking, you can crack your egg, a little salt, and whisk. Now back to our pancakes. A tip that I learned from my mom is that you can actually scrunch up the sides, expose the layers, and to get it fluffier. Now when the other side is nice and toasty, like so, you can lift it up. Flop your egg in and do the same. Egg bubble. Flip it back over and give it a little fold. Look at the layers. <laughs> That's a bit toasty, but it's not burnt. And now we can open it up. We're gonna be using this sauce for this one. And it says it's sweet bean paste, but in Chinese it's dou mian zhang. Dou as in bean, mian as in mian bao, and mian bao means bread, and zhang means sauce. I'm also going to be adding some of this. This is pork sung or pork floss. In Chinese, it's called rou song. And it's basically cooked, dried, shredded pork. You need to sprinkle, sprinkle. Do, 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 do. Fold it back up. This one is usually served whole and you tear it apart with your own hands. That's probably why it's called so dropping. But for easy accessibility, we will be cutting it. Okay, now they are both ready. We're gonna try the damping first, and this is supposed to have a more crepe-like texture with a little bit crispy on the outside and chewy on the inside. That's what it looks like. Hmm. It's been a while since I cooked that, but damn, that's good. Before I say anything else, I'm gonna move on to the sotrapi. This is what this looks like. Much more flakier. I feel like you can visibly see the crunch. Let's see if you can hear the crunch as well. Mm. All right, here's my verdict. The den bing is very nostalgic for me because it reminds me getting up, going to the nearest breakfast shop, getting one of these before I start the day. And then this one is just all about the texture. It's super flaky, noisy when you eat it. This sauce really makes such a difference. And also keep in mind that this is the frozen version. So if you were to enjoy it freshly made from one of those stalls, your mind will probably go like, Pew! it's that good. So I highly recommend you guys trying both of these just to get a taste of Taiwan. This is the beginning of Taiwanese impeccable cuisine. And living here in New York, there's not a lot of Taiwanese restaurants that are top tier. In my opinion, my mom's food is top tier and I have not found any places that match it. Thank 
And I know I can be biased because I made this myself, but I do have some friends coming over later that have never tried this food before. And when they get here, we're gonna get their verdict on it as well. They have arrived. Let's get to the taste test. This is tester number one, tester number two. They're gonna try this one first. Give like us your thoughts. Okay on the outside, then eggy and smooth on the inside. A little spice, a little tang. <laughs> a little tang. <laughs> right amount of spice. Good. Good? That's good. Mm -hmm. Bang, bang. Yeah. Show. 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 <laughs> Twa. Bang. Bang. Okay. Show, twa, bang. Show, twa, bang. Nice. I'm okay. ready. Breakfast. Wow, this you can have it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, midnight snack, three in the morning snack. Okay, enjoy. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, she just cut it with the chopsticks. Okay. Don't snap. Okay. <laughs> it's like a sweet orange. Oh, is there like that little paper thin? No, it's on that. No. no. <laughs> like that little it's part of the dough. Ooh, it's really good. Right? Sweet. Yeah. With the pork, and then that's more savory. I prefer the breakfast. Really? But they're both really good. I don't know. I would just eat everything. You <laughs> would just eat everything. <laughs> that too. Maybe this one. And then this is like crunchy too. But that one's like... too flaky. Really? Yeah. yeah. And there you have it. I'm going to be signing out myself. And then be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more. And please tell me if you guys have tried it or if you guys are going to try it, if you guys want to try it because I just want to share these experiences with y'all, you know? Anyways. Have a great day. I'm going to catch y'all next time. Come with me and you'll be in a world of your imagination. Take a look.